topic of conversation has been how and why my sense of fashion changed so quickly and so drastically. It was almost like one minute, you know, I was wearing t-shirts and board shorts and all that. And the next minute, you know, I was in crop tops and, you know, short shorts and all that. Um, and people just didn't really know how or why it switched so quickly. So my style has been something that many, many of you guys have actually asked me about. It was really sudden kind of how, you know, how much it changed, but how quickly it wasn't really like an overtime thing. Over time it got better, but it was more or less the same thing. Um, but I kind of just wanted to talk about it because people are like, you know, like, why did, like, how did you, like, make your mind up so quickly? Like, why did you change your mind so quick about your style and, like, all that? And it wasn't something that happened overnight, although it did look that way. My style had been something that I was never happy with. I hated it the whole time I was wearing everything I wore. You know, there was things that I liked better than others, which kind of became my style, you know. When I started YouTube, I was wearing, like, you know, jeans, really long tops, um, stuff like that. Um, and look, I didn't really like those things, but I liked them more than some other things that, you know, like, my mum had put me in when I was, like, little and stuff. And that's no diss to my mum, by the way. Like, she, you know, our parents dress us when we're younger. Um, and obviously when we get older, we kind of take it upon ourselves to dress ourselves. So when I got a bit older, I was like, you know, I like this a bit more than, you know, that. So that kind of became my style, but it wasn't something that I actually liked. So as I got older, I had the thought I'd cross my mind to, you know, like, I really want to wear like crop tops and like, you know, like really big jumpers that like, you know, not look like dresses, but like, you know, like that kind of like really big baggy vibe, like Ariana Grande vibe. Like everyone knows I'm obsessed with Ariana. I'd be like, like, fuck, I want to wear what she wears. Like she looks so pretty in it. And like, you know, I feel like I would look really good in it too. But like, you know, I don't think that um, people would really accept that. And I don't think that um, I'm good enough yet to look like that. You know, you're much more confident. I think you're much more confident than you were, I think, being able to wear what you actually want or, you know, what, what you're wanting to wear um, has made you way more confident than you were before. And um, I love it. And when I say good enough yet, trigger warning, I am gonna be talking about weight. So, you know, proceed at your own risk. I know when I talked about, um, my, in my episode Mirror Mirror in season two, I did get some hate for it because I didn't put a trigger warning in there. Um, so, trigger warning. Um, but yeah, I kind of thought, which was never the case, I was just being stupid and insecure. Um, I always thought like, you know, one day when I'm skinny enough, I'll be able to wear crop tops and, you know, I'll be able to wear all those things because, you know, right now I'm just like a bit fat for it. And like, I wouldn't look good in it, so I'm not gonna like put myself through it if I'm not gonna look amazing. What? Like, what are you saying? I look at my younger self and I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, so I didn't wear it for like years because I thought I was too fat to wear that stuff. I was like, fuck, like, I have like, my stomach won't look good. Like, I can't expose my stomach right now because I'm just fat. I'm like, what the fuck are you on? Like, actually, what are you on? Like, I've never, as I said in Mirror Mirror, I've never been overweight. I've never been overweight. You know, I've never been fat. Like, I've never been obese. Um... I've always been classified skinny. Now, obviously, when I was a bit younger, I had a bit of baby fat, so I had, like, you know, at the bottom of my stomach, I had a bit of, you know, excess fat that everyone had, you know, I was a bit fatter in my cheeks, whatever. Puberty and growing up helps with that, but, like, everyone had that, so I don't know why. I was like, I'm overweight. I used to be like, like, fuck, I'm so fat. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, seriously? So that was actually the reason why I never, you know wore a crop top or anything. It wasn't because I was scared of what people thought because honestly, after I started doing makeup, I was way past that. I was like, literally couldn't care less what people think about me. So um, it wasn't about that. It was that I thought that I would look ugly in it. So I just never put it on.
you know, I can say that I don't think it was really that much of a shock. I know that some of you guys were shocked, like, um, when I posted, like, you know, like, in, like, a cropped up, I remember my first ad, it was so trash. Like, it was, like, exercise pants, because I hadn't ordered any new clothes yet. It was just, like, me having what I had, so I cut some of my t-shirts into crop tops. They looked shit. And I put, like, exercise pants and, you know, my cut thrash, fake thrasher, um, cut crop tops that weren't really crop tops, they were t-shirts. Um, and then, you know, I had, like, a really big jacket, and I was, like, new era loading, or, like, something like that. I, I think I said, like, new style coming. I don't know. I think it's on my page, because I unarchived all, like, my old posts to kind of, like, take back, like, the narrative. Um... So, yeah, I said like, something like that, and everyone was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then, you know, some people were like, are you trans? Like, are you transitioning? I'm not transitioning. It is a question I get frequently, and I get why I get it. Like, I'm not dumb. I understand. I'm not stupid. But I would lie if it said that it didn't bother me, just because I have said over and over and over again that I am, you know, male. My name is Xavier, and I'm not sure that many girls have the name Xavier. Not being rude if you do. You're beautiful. I love the name. It's my name. But I've never really heard a girl be called Xavier before. Um, so I'm like, you know, I'm not transitioning just because... And that's that's also another thing that I thought... I thought to myself, like, fuck, to wear all these clothes, I have to be a girl. Like, to wear a crop top, I have to be a girl. To have long hair, I have to be a girl. And when I say long hair, obviously some guys have long hair, but it's always, like, scruffy and gross. I was like, to have, like, really nice, pretty long hair, I have to be a girl. To wear nails, girl. All that stuff. And then when I kind of started doing makeup and saw some boys wearing it, I was like, all right, maybe it doesn't. But I still thought with clothing, like, you know, no, like, I can't. And to a certain extent, I do still think that way in a sense, which is bad of me, because I should be open to everything, but, like, I would never wear a skirt or a dress, like, one, because it's just not my vibe, like, I just don't really like them, I do, like, I like them on, like, some people, but just not on me, like, I, I don't, I just don't like it, I don't think it matches my style, it doesn't make me feel good, so I just don't do it, um, but, y in my mind, I'm like, girls and, um, skirts and dresses are for girls, which, is wrong, and I know that that's wrong because skirts and dresses are for everyone, and crop tops are for everyone, fucking jeans are for everyone. If I wear like a certain pair of jeans, people are like, are you trans? And I'm like, they're jeans, it's made out of the same material. That's what I get so pissed about. I'm like, this crop top is made from the same material as the t shirt you're wearing, it's just a bit shorter. You take off your shirt all the time and show your whole stomach, so why can't I show mine just, you know, covering my nipples? Like, Get over it! So it definitely annoys me when people ask me. I get why, and I'm always nice about it, because I understand. Like, you know, from an outside perspective, if I was looking at me, I would ask if I'm trans. And, you know, 99% of the time when I go out and people don't recognise me or know me, they'll be like, ma'am, what do you want? Like, miss, what coffee do you want? It's like, stuff like that. And I don't say anything just because I want to avoid the awkward conversations. I just go, pumpkin spice latte, like, you know, something. But, like... I, 99% of the time, that's what I get. So I do understand it, but, like, for people, especially people who know of me or know me, it does annoy me that they're like, are you trans? I'm like, bestie, you know me, so why would you ask? But, yeah, um, I don't think it was really a shock to my family. That's the good thing about my family, like, and when I say family, I'm not just talking about my intimate family. <laughs> in <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm not just talking about my intimate family. I'm talking about, like, my extended family as well. I kind of just rocked up one day in a crop top, and they're like sick and they've always been like that like you know I've rocked up in um like makeup the first time I walked up in makeup they're like yep and they don't care which I like and that's the thing that I love the most about my family is that they don't ask me about it of course my intimate family have to because they're like we're gonna order you clothes why do you want these and I'm like yeah because they make me feel good whatever but like my extended family they just don't ask they're just like hi how are you going like brush past it, and they'll be like, oh, I love your outfit, and I'll be like, thanks. And I've always loved that about my family, because I hate, I hate with a passion when people are like, what made you want to, and like, makes me have to talk about it, like, it's clothing, get over it. Like, when I first wore makeup, like, my family didn't ask about it, which I like, because I shouldn't have to explain myself about something that I want to wear. It's my body, it's my face, I'll put 
whatever I want on it. It's good that they don't ask because, yeah, I'd just get annoyed. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really lucky to have the people around me that I have. Um, I'm so lucky that I have the support of you guys. You guys were so supportive. You guys are always commenting on my pictures and my videos being like, you look so pretty. Like, I love the outfit and stuff like that, which really boosts my confidence because it obviously is something that's a bit hard to do. Um, and I remember on my last day at my old school, I actually came in, it was casual clothes and I came in like a crop top and chackies and I was like, you know what? Cause my dream, my dream was my last day of year 12. I was going to rock up in like a full face of makeup and like, you know, in the uniform though, but it wasn't a uniform day. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to wear a crop top and all that. And then say adios. And that's what I did. But yeah, I know it seems sudden, and I know that change, like, a change like that can be really, really scary. Um, I was definitely kind of scared to see what people would say to me. Um, I've already experienced a lot of hate for things I've done, but I wasn't sure about this, just because this is, like, something that, like, you know, I'm sure people were going to come at me for, and some people did, I don't care though. But, like, you know, most didn't, and that was a really big help. Um, so I know that it's scary to kind of be truly your authentic self, but it always, and when I say this, I mean it, it always works out in the end.